Hi, I'm Matt Mays. I'm the Senior Practice Director for Federal Technical Compliance for C1 Secure. And today I'm going to do a quick demo of what are the couple of things you need to do to enable ServiceNow's new smart uh, assessment engine. If you go to the docs, I was really frustrated because <laughs> they don't really tell you everything you need to do to use this with GRC. So I'm gonna go over real quick what you would need to do to check this out, because it is pretty cool. They've added some capability, in particular giving context to the attestations that was not there um, in the old attestation out of the box. So first of all, there is docs on this, and I would recommend going there, because I'm not gonna dive into everything. For example, getting the plugins installed, this will tell you which plugins to install. So first step is come here, get the plugins installed. Then once you uh, have done that, there is a step, and this is the first step that is not in the docs as far as I can tell, um, that you need to do, which is you need to come to this system property and it's called enable smart assessments. So you'll come in here and you'll do this and you'll enable that is true. And then the next step is um, you've got to go to the control objectives and you've got to ensure that the attestation um, there's an attestation value in this new column. It actually has a name, smart attestation, but it's labeled attestation. So you gotta have that, has to have an attestation picked, and then you have to switch this from classic to attestation. So those, those are a couple of steps there. Um, if you've already generated controls, same thing, gotta do it at the control level too. This, these same columns exist on the controls. Once you've done that, um, it'll be ready to roll. And when you, go to take an attestation in the smart attestation engine they've added it in compliance workspace so we'll go to the compliance workspace and then we'll see under this check marks you'll see my pending tasks and then the attestation so i'll go ahead and open it and when i go to take it we see it's a much better interface than the um, um legacy attestations and then they've added this ability to have context to the right, which is going to be super awesome. The other thing they've done um, for setting this up, the interface is much better too. There's an attestation workspace now. So if you go to workspaces or assessment workspace, sorry. And if you go there, you'll see now you have your list of attestations that you've got configured. They've got easy interface for setting the setup for setting up the settings and then uh, from a question perspective, not only are you able to set up the metric category and do the questions, but you can also control what are the fields that are gonna show up for additional context. So that's pretty cool. So what are the downsides that I can see right now? Um, the biggest downside is they haven't built a way to take this in the portal yet. So that's kind of unfortunate. So if you really want your users to take their assessments in the portal, you're gonna to have to wait for now. And if you do want your users to take the attestations in the portal and you wanna have the additional context, let me know because we have built something where you can do that now um, and we'll be evaluating what to do with this as Smart Assessment Engine improves. But basically we've added that same extra context that they just added. So. If you're not quite ready for smart assessments, but you want that extra context and you want your users to take the attestation to portal, send me a message on LinkedIn because I can talk to you about this setup that I have. So thanks.